Hey, welcome to John's Guitar Lab. Take a look. We're getting a facelift. All right, still not finished. Okay, I hope you see part of my ladder. <laughs> you know, that, 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 that comes out. Uh, right down here, look, we have a can of paint. <laughs> All right, all oh, which has nothing to do with the lesson today. All right, moving right along. Look on my board. What do we have here? We have the A major chord, fifth position. We know what that means. Voila. Getting a shot of that. All right. D chord. And remember that there were two ways to do it. One was this way with the finger, but I want you to just use the one finger. All right, right here. Now, let's not look at the G or the C at this particular time. What we're doing here, we're going to do eight beats, quarter beats of the A chord, and then we're going to do eight beats of the D chord. All right. Let's set our metronome. We're counting an eighth, so I have it. The eighth note equals one click. All right. One and two and three and four. And A. And remember, just strum on the number. Now we're going to go to D. Remember what I said also with the D that sometimes we might not get that note. Alright, it's alright. Go back to A. Alright. So we're doing the A, eight beats, and we're doing the D, the eight beats. And then we're going back to the A chord. Let's do it one more time. One, and two, and three, and four, and want to count to eight so you don't make the same mistake I made. All right. What's happening here is we're going slow. We're trying to get the clean chord change between the A and the D. Okay. That's what we're looking for here. We could go ahead and jump into a song or something that, but that's going to be in the next video that's coming out. Right now, I want you to practice eight beats each the A, eight beats each the D. All right. If you feel really good about that, what we're going to do then is, and this is up to you, all right. It's the same principle, and as you could see, the chord forms are exactly the same, just different locations. Okay, this is the third fret, your G major bar. Got that? And the C with the third finger, the bar. All right. Eight beats each. All right. What happens that's different is you'll see when you're up at the fifth fret, it's a little bit easier to finger. All right, so once we get a little bit of strength in the hands, let's move lower or back to the G and try it with the C. All right, for now, we just want to do those two chords. Uh, if you want, let me give you a little demonstration with the G, although it's pretty much, hopefully, you'll understand that it's the same form 
just the chords a different name in a different location. All right, one and two and three and four and four. with G, eight beats with C, okay? Might get a little pain in the hand here, okay, in the fingers, all right? A lot of times when that occurs, and it will occur, is when you're forming, can we get a, we get a decent shot here of, uh, I want this part of my hand and my thumb, okay? Is that better? Could we see both fingers, so to speak? If I go like this, you could see my thumb, and if I go like this, you could see all right, what happens with the bar chord, when we have the bar chord up, technically, you could play the bar chord without the thumb. Are you going to be able to do that? Almost for sure, no. But what we do want to avoid is when we have the thumb, we're playing the bar chord, and we're using the thumb, that the thumb is not pushing hard. Okay, we don't want to be, you know... We don't want to see like blood loss out of the thumb here, all right? Because the thumb is supposed to be a guide, all right? And a lot of times when you get that pain, what's happening is you're, you're clamping, actually. That, that's what's happening. Where more so it should be with, where the bar comes down and less pressure with the thumb. Sounds easy with words. Doing it is a whole other story. Don't get discouraged. Yes, it's not that easy, but you're, it's going to happen, believe me. Okay? It's going to happen. All right, for now, that's all we're going to be doing. All right, if you like what you hear, give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, okay, because we've got to get more stuff out there. All right, and as always, any questions, comments below. All right, thank you very much and enjoy your day. Hope you like the new look. <laughs>